Akamanto, a horror character or horror icon legend, whatever you call it, is actually a fucking urban legend, which is based on in Japan, which is very fucking creepy, if I say so myself, as the slipmouth woman. But, um, this game could give you a fucking fright. Like, first time playing it, it might scare the shit out of you and shit, but when you get used to it, it won't fucking freak you out as much. But, let's, it's about a girl that goes back to her old school finding out what the fuck happened while there were so many missing. I think it's a girl, I'm not sure. Could be a girl or boy, but she, he or she finds out why the, all these people are missing. So, it turns out Akko Manto, which is a boy, not a fucking girl. Because YouTubers keep calling her a woman, which she ain't. Which he ain't. Which she ain't. What the fuck am I talking about? But, Akko Manto is chasing you throughout the whole game. But until the very end, you end up killing her, well, him, with a katana. And, it tells the story of the thing. But, you have to collect, there's like a hundred items in this fucking game. It's fucking unreal. But, this game is can give you a fright of your fucking life. A good fucking, uh, chill as art game. It's just like Puppet Combo, but different. It has the old PS1 style fucking video game. I think it's one of my favorite games they ever made. I might play it again, but turn it depends on how scared I am of this fucking game. I might not beat it or complete it, but I'll try. But, um, yeah. It's not a bad game. I suggest you to play it or buy it. But until then, how long is this fucking video? But, um, yeah. See ya.